Hey everyone, it's MHB here. Today we're diving into some uncomfortable truths about power, exploitation, and abuse that still happens in plain sight. We're exploring Chapter 3 of Sean Dupree's eye-opening book, Power, Pleasure, and Pain. This chapter draws shocking parallels between historical figures and modern-day scandals. We're talking about names you definitely know. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, and more. If you thought these cases were isolated incidents, think again. This chapter reveals a disturbing pattern of power abuse that spans centuries. Get ready for some hard-hitting revelations that will change how you view the world around you. Chapter 3, titled Societal Reactions and Their Cultural Impact, exposes a disturbing pattern that has persisted throughout history. Men like Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein aren't isolated cases, but rather the latest in a long line of powerful figures who have exploited their positions to commit heinous acts. This chapter delves into how society has responded to these abuses of power, both in the past and present. It draws striking parallels between modern-day scandals and historical instances of exploitation, showing that the dynamics of power and abuse have remained eerily consistent over time. Take Weinstein's case, for example. His conviction in 2020 was seen as a landmark moment in the Me Too movement. However, the recent overturning of this conviction in 2024 has sent shockwaves through society, leaving many to question the progress we thought we'd made. The book doesn't shy away from uncomfortable comparisons. It draws parallels between figures like Weinstein and historical characters such as the Marquis de Sade, known for his libertine sexuality and writings on extreme freedom. Both used their status and influence to perpetrate and, in some cases, normalize abusive behavior. This chapter challenges us to consider how societal reactions to these abuses shape our culture. It asks us to examine why some powerful figures seem to escape justice and how public opinion can be manipulated to protect the guilty. By understanding these historical patterns, we can better recognize and combat similar abuses of power in our own time. The book argues that only by confronting these uncomfortable truths can we hope to break the cycle of exploitation that has persisted for centuries. Let's dive deeper into some of these modern cases that Sean Dupree explores in Chapter 3. Harvey Weinstein's story is a roller coaster of legal twists and turns. In 2020, we saw what many considered a landmark moment for the Had Me Too movement, Weinstein's conviction in New York. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison, and it felt like justice was finally being served. But then, in a shocking turn of events in 2024, New York's highest court overturned that conviction. The reasoning? They cited issues with the trial including the admission of testimony from women whose accusations weren't part of the criminal charges. This decision sent shockwaves through the survivor community and reignited debates about the challenges of prosecuting powerful figures. However, Weinstein's legal troubles are far from over. He's facing new sexual assault charges in different jurisdictions. These ongoing cases continue to bring to light disturbing patterns of behavior spanning decades in the entertainment industry. Now let's talk about Jeffrey Epstein. His case opened up a Pandora's box of secrets involving the rich and powerful. Even after Epstein's death in 2019, the repercussions of his actions continue to unfold. The ongoing legal proceedings have been revealing an extensive network of influential figures allegedly involved in or connected to his sex trafficking operation. What's particularly unsettling about Epstein's case is the scale and duration of his crimes. We're talking about decades of abuse involving dozens of underage victims and a web of connections that reaches into the highest echelons of society. From politicians to royalty, business tycoons to academic figures, the Epstein case has cast a shadow over numerous powerful individuals. The investigations into Epstein's associates are ongoing, with his longtime partner Ghislaine Maxwell already convicted for her role in the trafficking scheme. But many believe this is just the tip of the iceberg. Chapter 3 of Dupree's book delves into how Epstein's wealth and connections allowed him to operate with impunity for so long, and how societal structures enabled this abuse of power. These cases, Weinstein and Epstein, aren't isolated incidents. They're symptomatic of a larger issue that Dupree explores, the systematic abuse of power for sexual exploitation. They show us how money, influence, and a network of enablers can create a shield of impunity around perpetrators. One of the most crucial takeaways from this chapter is understanding how our society's response to abuse directly shapes our cultural attitudes. 
Let's look at the recent development with Harvey Weinstein's case as a prime example. The overturning of his conviction in 2024 sent shockwaves through the survivor community and beyond. It's not just about one man walking free, it's about the message it sends to victims and perpetrators alike. Many survivors now fear that this decision could embolden other abusers, especially those in positions of power. They worry that their own stories might be dismissed, or that coming forward could lead to even more trauma without the promise of justice. This fear can have a chilling effect on reporting abuse, potentially setting back years of progress made by the Had Me Too movement. But here's where we see a glimmer of hope. The public outcry. The overturned conviction didn't happen in a vacuum. People are angry, they're vocal, and they're demanding change. We're seeing a surge in grassroots movements, online campaigns, and even legislative pushes to address the systemic issues that allow powerful abusers to evade justice. This growing awareness and activism show that society is evolving. More people are recognizing the long-term impact of abuse and the importance of supporting survivors. While the legal system may sometimes fail, the court of public opinion is becoming increasingly powerful. It's a complex situation, but the fact that we're having these conversations openly is progress in itself. The more we understand about how power dynamics play into abuse, the better equipped we are to challenge and change the systems that enable it. This growing consciousness is our best hope for creating a culture where abuse is universally condemned and survivors are believed and supported. Now I want to hear from you. Can powerful men like Weinstein or Epstein ever truly face accountability? What do you think needs to change in our society to prevent these abuses of power? Share your thoughts in the chat. Let's have an open and honest discussion about how we can dismantle these systems that enable exploitation. If you have personal experiences or insights to share, please do so. Your voice matters in this conversation. Remember, we're stronger when we speak up together. To keep the discussion organized, use the hashtags hashtag #PowerAbuse and hashtag #EndExploitation in your comments. This way, we can track the conversation and highlight the most thought-provoking ideas. Don't hold back. Your perspective could be the spark that ignites real change. Whether you agree or disagree with what's been said, I want to hear from you. Let's work together to find solutions and demand accountability. If you're ready to uncover the shocking truths behind power and exploitation, you need to get your hands on power, pleasure, and pain right now. This book is your ultimate guide to understanding the dark underbelly of power dynamics, from historical figures to today's headlines. Sean Dupree doesn't just scratch the surface, he digs deep into the roots of abuse and shows how it's persisted through the ages. You'll gain insights that will change the way you view current events and help you make sense of the complex web of power and corruption we're seeing unfold in real time. Whether you're following the latest developments in the Weinstein case or trying to understand the far-reaching implications of Epstein's network, this book provides the context you need. It's not just about the past, it's about right now and what's coming next. Don't be left in the dark. Arm yourself with knowledge. Power, Pleasure, and Pain isn't just a book. It's a tool for understanding and combating exploitation in our society. By reading it, you're taking an active step towards being part of the solution. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below and order your copy now. Trust me, this is one book you can't afford to miss if you want to truly understand the world we're living in. Get your copy of Power, Pleasure, and Pain today and join the conversation about power, abuse, and how we can create real change. And that wraps up our live stream for today, everyone. We've only scratched the surface of the shocking revelations in Sean Dupree's book. In future discussions, we'll be delving into even more explosive chapters, exploring how we can bring justice to survivors and hold the powerful accountable. This is just the beginning of our journey to understand and combat these deep-rooted issues. Remember, if you want to stay informed and be part of the conversation, make sure to like this stream and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to grab your copy of Power, Pleasure, and Pain using the link below. It's an essential read if you want to truly comprehend the headlines we're seeing today. Knowledge is our greatest weapon in this fight. The more we understand about the history and current state of power abuse, the better equipped we are to create change. Thank you for joining me today. Let's continue this important discussion and work towards a world where no one is above the law. Power, Pleasure, and Pain A Study of Abuse Through Time This book provides a detailed examination of how sexual...
violence and power dynamics have manifested across different historical periods from ancient civilizations to the modern era. It explores how figures in positions of power used their influence to manipulate and exploit others, showing that the patterns of abuse we see today have deep historical roots. Many people struggle to grasp why abuse of power, particularly sexual violence, persists in modern society. By connecting historical events with contemporary cases, the, the book offers crucial insights into to why such behaviors remain prevalent. The book analyzes infamous cases such as those of Harvey Weinstein, R. Kelly, and Dominique Pellicotte, drawing parallels between them and historical figures. This section highlights how the systemic abuse seen in recent times is not a new phenomenon, but part of an ongoing cultural issue. Through the lens of these modern examples, readers will gain a better understanding of how institutions, wealth, and power have historically shielded perpetrators from justice contributing to their ability to, to continue harming others. The book explores the philosophy of libertarianism, particularly through the works of Marquis de Said, to explain the disturbing ways in which pleasure, power, and cruelty have been intertwined. This provides readers with a deeper philosophical context to, to interpret modern-day scandals. Unlike other studies that focus solely on historical or, or contemporary cases, this book uniquely blends both, offering a full spectrum of how abuse is tied to power dynamics. It stands out by making philosophical connections that help readers understand the deeper societal issues at play.